Um, this is a video about using Firebase Functions, Firebase emul Emulator, and Firebase Storage. I'm working on a project now where I needed to create a cloud function that uploaded a file to storage. And um, it took me a while to figure out how to get the emulator functioning properly to work with this. It took me a while to get the functions and everything all synced up because I thought I could do it all without actually creating a project in Firebase, but I was wrong. It looks like um, the way some of the things work, you have to create at least a project in Firebase to be able to get um, the storage rules set up appropriately, and even to do something as simple as initializing functions, which I found kind of challenging. And I'll walk through that to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so for those who don't know, there is a whole um, set of tools with Firebase that allow you to um, kind of emulate function storage and everything from your local directory. Um, and so let me get the, this up for you. So the first thing, um, well, the most effective way that I found for it to work was to create a test project first. And so um, I've already went and I've created a project. As you can see, it's not letting me do functions yet because I haven't upgraded it yet. So what I want to use, I want to use functions and I want to use storage. And so storage isn't set up yet either. So let's get started here on storage. Let's just say next. We have to set a location. And um, what I found is you have to actually do this even if you're just going to start out with the emulator. You've got to set up this, this base project. So let's say done here. So it's setting up the default buckets. Okay. Um, but as I said, um, the functions aren't set up. The, we are not using, we are going to use, uh, we just set up storage, we're not using the database, and we're not using authentication. So now I have this base project. So let's go back here to um, my empty directory that I created. Let's open up a terminal here and let's do a Firebase init. And we are going to say that we want to use functions, storage, emulators. And to, we're going to use an existing project. We're going to take this test project that I just created, if I can find it. Test project AKS. We're going to set up our functions. We're just going to take the defaults, install the dependencies. You need security rules even to run local. So uh, we're going to say yes, download the security rules. And then now it asks for the emulators. We want the function emulator and we need the storage emulator. And we'll just take the default ports and we'll enable the emulator UI. We'll take any port. Let's download the emulators and everything's set. So but the, the trick here, what I want to do is I want to now start to use uh, my emulator. So what we can do is to get the emulator started, we just have this basic, I mean, we have a basic command to call. And the command is Firebase Emulator Start. Okay, it looks like one of my ports is already being used. So to get everything running, you run this one command, it's Firebase Emulator Start, and so now everything started. And if we open up our admin UI here, you can see this is the admin UI we get. We have storage emulator on and functions emulator on. And here's our storage where we can upload files and everything like that. So let's kind of move this out of the way, and let's let's start to work with what we have in place. And let's start by just creating a basic cloud function here. We're gonna go into index, index.ts, and I use this I use this tool here. First of all, let's, let's uncomment this so we can just make sure that my environment's set up properly. Let's save this. It's, we have our hello world function. Here's the URL. I use this Thunder client here. So let's create a new request. Base Thunder client, send, and we get our hello back. So we know it's working. Now let's go back here. But what we want to do is we want to kind of upload a file to storage. 
and I've already got a bunch of code that does that so I'm going to just start with the basic code and then what we will do is I'll kind of explain to you what's going on. So here is the function and let's just kind of talk about kind of what's going on here. So here we have our, our function is called upload file and then we're to kind of I saw a bunch of issues around how do you get a file out of the uh, request body and so there's this tool called formidable that you need to use and I did a little research and formidable has a, a um, version of the library called serverless so. and this module for enables you using serverless environment specifically Google Cloud functions um, so here it is so let's copy this and what I'm going to stop my emulator here now so let's control C and the catch is make sure you CD into your functions directory and let's paste uh, npm install formidable serverless so we get that added to our function directory the other thing is we need to actually get access to Firebase in here so we need to import um, Firebase admin so now we get Firebase admin so what's going to happen here is um, this is going to take the incoming form and so we get this form object here and then off of this you can pull out a files object and it will it will find the variable in your form that holds the files and then it will check to see if there's a file or not right now it's just doing a reject and so a reject here will basically throw an error so it'll drop down here and then we'll send the JSON response back with an error if there's no files otherwise we get the actual path off of the file object we're just console logging it out so we can see it there and then we're getting in Firebase storage we're getting the default bucket then we're going to pass the file path to upload it and we're just specifying the content type then we get a bunch of data back but all we really all I'm really looking for right now is just the metadata back from it and then when we we resolve this promise and then when this promise is resolved we fall down into this then and then we will pass back um, the metadata information from the file upload here and that should be the answer to the uh, not the answer but that should be the response to the um, file upload so now let's save this and let's run everything again well let's first of all let's get out of this functions directory now let's run it So everything's running fine now. Let's go back to my formidable client. Not formidable, my Thundercat client. And here what we're going to do instead is let's use this path here, this file upload path. Let's copy this over here. Paste that in. And what we can do is we can switch over to body, um, form, select files. Our field name is file because that's what we specified here inside of our function file and then um, let's just select the file to upload what's this this is our clearly innovative logo always like to put that out there so let's select that for open so now we have the file here and then now let's send this and see what we get okay what did I miss formidable is not defined let's see what did I do I did not import it, so let me put this here. Let's save this again. Function got killed, so we're going to cancel everything, start our emulator all over again. Let's go back to my request. Let's send this again. Looks like it threw an error. Let's see. Oh, I did not call initialize app. I just hopped straight into the function, didn't set up Firebase the way I needed to, so let's go right up here at the top. Um, that should... Let's, let's um, go down here and kill this guy again. Start it up. Let's go back to my requests. Let's send. And there's my file. My file's been uploaded. And so this is a response that I sent back. It's got my file info. Um, and all the information regarding the image that I just uploaded and if we go back to our emulator suite and you can get access to your emulator suite look right here this this link right here the UI let's hit command click let's open this up let's bring it back over here and you can see we have our storage emulator which is running so let's open this up 
And here's the file that we just uploaded. Let's go back and then we can see our functions. Here's the function that we just ran. Here's the file path to where it got uploaded with formidable. And as you saw, we had the successful outcome. Just one more time, let's go through the code. We use formidable to get the incoming form. And here, this basically is just a form field. The other good thing is let's open up. You can see it shows you the code of how you have to create the form data. You append the file path. You, you would get this from using a file input or something else. You append this to the form and then you pass the form data as the body. Make sure you set the headers and then you just make the API call. For those who use Axios, there's also an example here of how you actually do it with the Axios. Here it's a little bit different because you need, it looks like you need to um, read a file stream, but everything that you need is here. So now we go back. We're looking specifically, notice how on the um, Notice how on the form field, it's named file. And so you need to make sure here that it's named file here. But when we look at the source, on this files option, we get the, the file value. We throw the error. We get the full path of the file. Because this file path gives us the full path. We want the full path, not just the name. And then we get the storage bucket from Firebase. We're sending it to the default bucket. You could pass it in potentially as another parameter for which bucket you want it to go to. Then we upload the file. And we specify the content type. We're using async await. So if everything's successful, now we want to end this promise. And so we resolve it with the information that we got. So you get the response. You pass it as the file info. And then the file info gets sent back as the response to the call and success. And on error, we send back the error. So that's how you do a basic file upload using the storage emulator. And I guess now, if we really wanted to test this without the emulator, um, what you would have to do is, let's go back into Firebase. You have to go to your test project. Um, as you can see, I don't have functions turned on. Uh, to turn on function, I need to upgrade my project, and so I'm not going to do that, but that's what you would need to do. But this is a way for you to kind of test your functions and test some things by just using the emulator. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I'll include the source code for the file upload. And actually, I'll just upload the whole project so that you can see how I got everything set up. But this is just a great way to show you how you can accomplish a lot just using the emulator. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye now.